We're here in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance, and we're teamed up with Hoof Watch to bring you a series of videos for our first contest of our 13th season in Madison, Wisconsin. We've got Tyler Marshall from New Hampshire, and he's a Pats fan, but he can't bowl very good. So we're excited to do this series, and we're excited to see everybody this year. This is the first video of the individual class, which is two shoes. It's the L brand Forge Coke, proud sponsor of the WCB. And we're making the inverted bar shoe diamond toe. It's 14 and a half inches, a three ace by three quarter. And it measures five and a quarter wide by five and five sixteenths long. It has a diamond toe. It's an inverted bar on the bottom and it's punched for six. Liberty five combos. Anytime you want to forge something that much, we're going to have to bump the toe and then so we have material to, to smash into the to the block. So I'm going to take the first heat and, and bump it for about, oh, maybe four inches of it. Just the right amount of material in that toe, the heat to have a nice bump. I'm narrowing it up as I go because I got to have it narrow enough to drop down in the block. As you can see my mark here, I'm just gonna scribe a line here and here, that's an inch and a quarter. Then I'm just gonna take and mark a line at my inch and a quarter mark. Drive into the corner. Then come here, find that mark, drive into the corner. Kind of get your flashing back under control. You can see I'm starting to create that corner. It's really important to, to keep it pulled. Like I'm almost like pulling on a rope when I'm to keep it locked in. All right, I got it. The block is just a, a little wider than my original mark, so I have to wait to get it down in there before I got enough length to where the other side doesn't hit. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go to my toe band. I'm gonna try and stay away from that, that corner right there. Just get it started and then, you can see how, cause it's gonna bend the easiest where I've weakened it. So you wanna just keep on kinda just ever so slightly just Bending it with the branch and not so much the toe. I've got my toe pretty much done. I'm gonna just, why it's open like this, I can do the majority of my rasping. I was gonna create the collars and make it look nice. The one thing is when you bump, I have my bump going to about here. So now whenever I fuller, I can crispen up those edges coming from the other direction and remove material and make that nice and flat and crisp. About an inch and a half. Make a nice, crisp, acute bend.
I got most of the heat down here, so keep it bent down there. Because it will want to kink in the toe because your toe is gone. Take a nice smooth round and just kind of push that invertedness into your bar. There we go. Take a soft edge and scarf it down. And we'll do the other side. Make sure you grab the same amount of material. And I'm doing a little bit of pinching here just to give it that swoop. I'll put my scarf in there now because I can't get to it if I bend it at this point. I'm just going to bend this side around a little bit. It was a little open. Just going to kind of get my frog plate looking as nice as I can before I actually weld it. Putting all my seams together as, as good as possible. We got Iron Mountain, often imitated, very seldom duplicated. Russell makes this stuff in his bathtub and they say the ceramic chips from his bathtub make it weld even better. Get rid of toenail fungus too. Cover the whole weld. All right, just tippy tap it, get it all stuck. Pull all your seams together. I built up all my edges real nice. You can see that the weld is actually the thickest part still. So I'm doing real good as far as forging it together. What I'm doing is I'm trying to keep my hammer below the horn. And when I say that, so I got that nice swoop in there. I'm always trying to work that back in there, get these corners nice and sharp. I'm just going to weld it one more time for a good measure and be done with it. Taking the round side of my hammer and tightening up the tip of that frog plate. Flip it around. Flatten it up real nice. We're going to mark the fuller end for the medial side first. When you hem, it's important to keep the inside edge straight up and down on the anvil. And now I'm just kind of hitting the whole piece of stock, but I'm favoring the ground surface. Got some nice heat on it.
come through and flatten everything. You just flatten, flatten, flatten. All right, we're gonna ham. I'm gonna, I'm, I got it put straight up and down on the face of the horn. I'm making contact. I get to the widest part. I'm gonna go over the top. And that is forcing the quarter to be even wider than it was. Then I'm just gonna come in here and invert that bar a little bit. What that does is sharpen the corner. Again, come in here, go out to the widest part of the foot, go over the top, and then come on down to the end. When you come to the end, so it pushes out nice, make sure that you line up the, the, the dead stop with the corner so it accentuates the corner and it doesn't just make a round loop. Just get it just right. And see, you can see I've got that lined up with the corner of the bar. And so when it opens up, it opens up the corner and makes the corner bigger. All right, we're gonna keep it up on top, keep the shoe square. I'm hitting the whole piece of stock just slightly favoring the ground surface. And we'll drop that fuller in. I'm gonna clean up these edges one more time and then I'll, I'll punch it. I'm gonna hold it from this side because what happens is the toe is so weak that it kinks right here. So I'm just gonna open that up a little bit. And that gets everything going in the right direction which is back down right about here at the widest part of the foot. Hold it on the very end and just kind of make sure you're always constantly working on that bar going the other direction. pretty much ready to rasp and clean it up. I'm just going to put a little bit of shape in it and then file on it. There's a kink right here from just forging the branch. The kink is always going to go to the weakest part. And then. We're just cleaning them up, final flattening. Pop all that stuff out of there and just clean up both lines of your fuller. The inside and the outside just kind of making everything flow just a little bit better. We'll get the other side and be done.
All righty. I think we pretty much got what we got. I think get the idea of the toe and the inverted bar.